you're going to Melbourne? Well, you've chosen the most comfortable, most restful means of covering that distance. No need to upset your daily domestic or business routine either. Perhaps you might say your journey starts right here at the Interstate Booking Office on North Terrace because none of us is without the thrill of anticipation when we reserve our seats. Seats, did I say? Better by far to travel by Twinette or Roomette on the Overland. That's really travel deluxe. Check your car and berth, check the date, well, that's right. And so, until the great day, go back to your workaday life and let the railways take care of the Overland. And take care of it, they do. Long before the 640 steams out, this 220-ton Leviathan takes on coal, six tons of it. Tops up with sand for extra brake power on slippery gradients. Fuels with 1,500 gallons of oil for auxiliary burning. And drink 7,000 gallons of water for the first stage only of the 480 mile haul ahead. Hot water and steam is not spared to thoroughly cleanse all grime from the last journey to keep all moving surfaces clear and free. A huge turntable at the Mile End Yards bodily handles its vast mass should it require parking in any one of the 43 bays of the Roundhouse. Time to couple it to the waiting express on North Terrace. And as your taxi brings you to Adelaide on the evening of departure, the Sir Lancelot Stirling majestically steams to its rendezvous, checked in every mechanical detail, shining bright from the final touches of an army of workmen. Ah, here you are in the exciting bustle of Platform 8. Tickets, please. Lucky people. Your coaches are numbers 3 and 4, Twinettes and Roomettes of the Overland, bound for Melbourne. Last minute farewells and messages fill the air from all sides. In no time it's all aboard and ever so slowly at first you move away from the platform on through fleeting suburbs and away into the night. But who's this? It's the conductor of your coach. Comfortable? Sure you are. Here's your wardrobe. Cute, isn't it? Here are the private washroom and toilet. Perhaps you care for a table. That's easy. And perfectly rigid, too. And a cup of tea and light supper. No sooner said than done by the ever-ready attendant conductor in his own little galley, shining with stainless steel and all that's modern. At bedtime, just leave your shoes in the shoe cupboard. They'll be cleaned and ready for wear by the morning. If you're traveling solo, you'll be comfortable in the luxurious privacy of a roomette, complete with wash basin, mirror, toilet, independent lighting, and a call button for the conductor. Your bed, already made, folds down from behind your seat for use just whenever you wish to retire. A light supper too. Yes, bed it is. Whether to read a while or to relax completely and soundly sleep the whole night through.
time to get up. But morning tea first, and a Melbourne paper to read. Then a shower. What luxury. Hot or cold, too. Well, my lady is turned out as immaculately as if she were in her own home. Clothes straight from the wardrobe are fit to wear another day. Already, we're coming into Melbourne, and believe it or not, it's a sunny day. Hi there, folks. Are you all set? Yes, and here we are, well rested, well groomed, and ready to face the world again to start another day nearly 500 miles from home. Ready to meet friends, ready to do business. You travel well when you travel overland. overland.